The history of slavery runs deep in Texas back into 1850. 70% of people living in Brazoria County were slaves. But today, one of those plantations serves as a historical site. Deva Gonzalez has more. Here in Galveston, Juneteenth celebrations are underway. Behind me, the Smithsonian is projecting a variety of words and images that tell the story of Juneteenth. Over in Brazoria County, a plantation that was once home to hundreds of slaves is now preserved, so its dark history is never forgotten. The beauty of Varner Hog Plantation is undeniable and even peaceful at times, but it's a far cry from the haunting past planted in its soil. For a lot of people, um, they look at slavery as, as if it didn't happen. In the 1800s, it was owned by the Patton family. They came out of Kentucky in about 1833, uh, brought about 60 enslaved people from Kentucky to build the sugarcane plantation. During its time as Patton Plantation, more than 200 people would be kept as property. It would probably be people out in the fields um, tending to the sugarcane, getting it ready to harvest. Um, it would probably be people um, in, in the house uh, working for for no pay. 156 years ago, on June 19th, 1865, enslaved people would be set free. Definitely a difficult history to have to come face to face with part of our past that's not as uh, celebratory, let's say, as some of our other Texas history. Today, its dark history is preserved to show how far we've come. William Poley works as an educator at the plantation. This is all part of our history. We're, we're all under this one American history, so Black history and American history go hand in hand. He says working here makes the past come to life. Uh, you can read about it in books all day, but when you actually come out here and experience, it just gives you a different feeling. Varner Hog Plantation is working on a descendants project where black families with ties to the plantation can bring artifacts in that have been passed down since the 1800s, like documents, photos, or even Bibles. They say people may be able to find ancestors they never knew existed. Mia? Really something, and we understand admission to the historical site is free tomorrow on Juneteenth. Deva Gonzalez, thank you.